Okay, welcome, 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 uh, parents and guardians. I just wanted to touch base with you and uh, let you know what's going on in U.S. History A. Um, it's going to be a little different this year with uh, parent-teacher conferences and, and everything that's going on. Uh, so I just want to give you uh, an idea of what most parents want to know uh, for parent-teacher conferences. You will be getting a, uh, a little link coming out to where you can sign up for either a Google Meet or if you want to chat on the phone. Uh, those will be available for you there. Um, but I just wanted to tell you a little bit about what the course looks like and, and what your kids are doing in, in, in class and school and all that fun stuff. Um, please don't be afraid to contact me uh, if you have any questions or if this is somehow incomplete. So uh, U.S. History A is a thematic approach to U.S. history. We don't follow any real, uh, you know, chronological approach that you probably are used to in your typical uh, U.S. history course. So the topics that they're going to uh, that we talk about in U.S. history A as opposed to B that they'll take next trimester is uh, heavy on this American dream and American experience deal. Okay, so uh, we tend to tie the American dream and the American experience to every one of these aspects here or the rest of the uh, of the numbers that you see here. So right now we're right in the middle of immigration and treatment of Native Americans in that uh, little unit. So uh, coming back next week, um, we'll get right into the 1920s and 1930s or the politics of uh, the 1920s and the 1930s and how uh, different those were from uh, from each other, those changes in ideology. Well, we'll spend uh, some time talking about slavery and reconstruction. And then lastly, we're gonna finish up with civil rights and women's suffrage. Okay, so those are the main topics that we're going to be talking about uh, in U.S. History A. Um, if you're like, hey, where's the where's the rest of the stuff? That should be all in U.S. History B, which is a little more of a chronological approach as opposed to this one. Okay, if you go into Schoology, you could see all of the stuff that is upcoming in terms of like when stuff is due for your kid in class. Um, and then these are the folders that we have open. This is the U.S. History textbook. Uh, we don't do a whole lot with the textbook, but there might be uh, one or two reading assignments uh, per unit uh, found in there. If uh, This is the exact Google presentation that I showed you uh, before. So if you want to click on that and see exactly what we did that day, you should. Uh, it's kind of organized by week, uh, considering I only see uh, each student one time each week. Um, but yeah, as those folders pop up, that's essentially what we are, uh, what we're covering, okay? Um, within those, you could see various projects and term quizzes, um, but the assessment pieces would come from Flipgrid, where the kids are uh, giving me kind of their voice of what they learned uh, about each topic, okay? Um, like I said, uh, can't wait to meet uh, all of you parents in... Uh, in parent-teacher conferences here, so don't be afraid to reach out, sign up for a time, and uh, I'll chat with you then. Thank you.